Greetings from Burning Daylight Farms NC. Welcome back. Uh, this is a part two of our video for Saturday, August 15th, 2020, the year of our Lord. Um, Y'all just watched me make this little hummingbird feeder ant moat that we had seen them make it on the, what the phone up here? They were going to say hello to y'all. All right, come on up here. Anyway, uh, my bride reminded me that I missed one important step. This little moat right here, you need to fill it up with water. So she's going to be my assistant and hang it up here. And she's asked me not to get her in the video, so I'll just get her hands. How's that? All right, now you pour water in that. Now, once the ants, point four we're showing them, Julie. Once do that, they can they can come down that hook and they can come right there, but they will not hello little fellas, but they will not come down to the feeder so far. You want me on TV? Hi. Yeah, they do. They're very lively. They want me to get out of the way is what they're telling me. So anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna back up here. The hummingbirds, we are seeing them out here. Alright, I'm gonna spin around here. And this is what we ended up done on the barn quilt. And like I said, I know a morning quilt is supposed to be, um, I can't zoom, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, I can zoom in. Morning quilt's supposed to be on a, somebody will say hello. Hey, Rusty. There's Rusty, the, the doction. He's our guard doction. Anyway, um, so, but there's a lot of things we tried to repurpose here on the farm. And this old piece of cow chain was down there in the building. And, uh. I really did not. Don gave me some screws to where I could drill holes in it up here in this area here. Drill holes, mount to the wall. And I'll be honest with you, I guess I'm just too sentimental. I just could not. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to drill a hole in it. So what we actually did was we drilled two holes in the back side at about a 45 degree angle. And run a screw in that way, partially in, so that the chain is actually hanging on it. And then, I don't know. I thought it looked kind of, kind of neat myself. Uh, anyway, y'all can feel free to comment, tell me what you think. And uh, anyway, all right. Well, with that said, while I've got you on video, we're gonna walk around the house here. And uh, man, I'm tell you what. I saw about the grass are growing. I'm tell you, it has kicked into high gear. This triple 17 has put it to kick it and gouging. So anyway, we'll walk around this way and we'll show you. Um, now this is not the grass that I saved. We'll walk around the house here and I'll uh, show you the area that we grassed and what it's done. Um, again, thank y'all for tuning in with us and uh, for subscribing and hitting the like button and telling your friends about it, sharing the videos and all that. I appreciate it very much. I really do, Julie and I do. You may recall this area here. We uh, had a lot of, so where they had to tire the septic system up and uh, got a pretty decent stand of grass uh, coming on. Got some right back there, didn't get quite what I wanted on it. Of course that furthest area right back whoop, there, I did not tiller that up. But all this area right here where they had driven and everything, I think it's coming along pretty decent. Um, I really do. Pretty tickled with it. And uh, like I said, we still got still got another day, full day's work. Because all the debris and all the brush and everything they left, um, got to get it carried off. A lot of poison oak back over there. It's just kind of didn't want to didn't want to mess with that. So anyway, this little area here, I just this little right here, one of my little favorite little favorite just little areas. Uh, I, I've got a, one of the, our friends at church. I told them, I think, of course, I, got, I need to get a good stand of grass in here. We've had little problems with grass this summer. Well, there ain't been no grass here in a while, so. But we're going to get that. The last one, I think this little area right up here be one of the prettiest areas for, a little, for somebody to have a wedding, have a little, you know, you couldn't have 500 people or nothing, but anyway, I just thought it was a nice little place up here. It's a little kind of little secret area. And uh, anyway, just uh, just my opinion, I guess, so, so to say. But uh, anyway, um, it's out there. If you want a uh, place to have your wedding, 
contact us. We'll uh, definitely be uh, definitely be talking to you. I want to show you one more thing. I have not seen these in ages and ages and ages. I'm gonna... My nanny Tucker, my dad's mom, always called these pretty manites. And I hadn't seen, I think the actual name may be four clocks. But uh, I have not seen these in years and years. And like I said, she always called them pretty manites. So, anyway, with that said, I just wanted to give a shout out about that. And uh, there's a few more over there. Anyway, like I said, a uh, lot more to do. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera a little fast. Uh, looking at the pecan crop, she is coming in, and we are very thankful for that. Uh, once they uh, reach maturity, I'll be uh, uh, posting some information where you can contact us. Uh, I do plan on selling pecans this year because, um, as I said, it does appear we're going to have a, a bumper crop. Very thankful for that. Praising the Lord for that. They are really, really, really. You can see those are not right up there. Right. Well, I can't find my. Anyway, they're in there. They're right up there. All right. You know I enjoy making these videos, and I appreciate y'all watching. And I'm learning and learning more and more. I'm looking at maybe in the next month or two, we're gonna get a at least get a GoPro or something. I'm. I need to get in touch with uh, some of my other YouTube channel friends that I've subscribed to Stony Ridge and uh, Arms Family Farms, Kent Rollins and find out what kind, well this little fella, find out what kind of cameras they use, I'm sorry spinning circles here he was, he worried about where his pop was, hey buddy, what are you doing that way out here, huh? You just had to get in the picture one more time, alright well, he was coming to check on me, he was worried about me anyway, of course we got some pretty uh, um Crepe myrtles and all, they're coming along. They've been blooming for about the last month and a half now, too. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, if you got any suggestions on cameras, handheld or tripod, um, I'm open for suggestions because I know I'm really getting frustrated sometimes doing the, uh, with just the iPhone um, and then trying to get it to upload, especially if it's much more than three or four minutes with the service that we have out here. It stinks. Uh, last night, the video that I shot last night, the Friday night front porch, I think it took a little over an hour for that five minute video to upload. So uh, these may or may not get uploaded tonight. We'll do our best. So anyway, All right, I'm going to quit rambling. Y'all have a blessed evening and uh, we'll talk with you soon. Appreciate it again. Thank y'all for tuning in. And from Burning Daylight Farms NC, we out of here.